know today as Therese of Lisieux, was born in France on the 2nd of January in 1873. Therese was raised in a devout Catholic family. Family life was lived with devotion to God. Therese's early life was shaped by tragedy and illness. When she was only four, her mother died of cancer, which caused a significant change to Therese's normally happy disposition. She became overly sensitive and emotional, with frequent outbursts. But then, at the age of 13, God's grace gave her a sudden new disposition and strength to bear life's challenges. She later recounted, In an instant, Jesus, content with my good will, accomplished the work that I had not been able to do in ten years. The following year, she wanted to join the Carmelite order like her sisters. She had to wait until she was fifteen. Her ultimate goal was to be a saint, but feeling unable to perform the great deeds, to be a rose in heaven like the other great saints, she chose instead to be a violet at the feet of Christ knowing that the little flowers pleased him as well. During her short time in the monastery, she began to develop her little way, a way of humility and complete reliance on Christ's mercy for sanctification. Instead of focusing on harsh, ascetical means of personal penance, she began to offer the little daily sufferings from work, slights, and annoyances, all for the love of Jesus. Even her dryness in prayer and doubts were seen as opportunities to exercise her faith in Christ. St. Therese contracted tuberculosis in 1896, and she accepted that this would be her final suffering. She died the following year at the age of 24. Twenty-eight years after her death, she was declared a saint. In 1997, St. Pope John Paul II declared St. Therese a doctor of the church. The window right next to the tomb of Venerable Solanus is dedicated to a saint whom he admired deeply, St. Therese, the little flower. St. Therese who teaches us that little way of faithfulness to God. She was a contemporary of Venerable Solanus he read her autobiography and immediately knew that this woman, a doctor of the church today, would lead many to know Christ, to love God. He led many to venerate her holiness, to imitate it, to ask her intercession. He was instrumental here in Detroit, at the Shrine of the Little Flower, in animating people to that dedication to this young, woman who so faithfully and totally gave herself to Jesus Christ. Father Solanus loved her because she represented what he desired to do with his own life, to give himself completely to God. In his own humble little way, he, like St. Therese, this little child, following the call of Christ to become like children to enter into the kingdom, Father Solanus too, thanked him ahead of time with that childlike simplicity and faith. And he blessed God for all the designs that he had on his life with that trust and faith of a child. He imitated and loved. That example of St. Therese, the little flower, he too followed Christ in that little way. And her light now shines on his tomb just as his light continues to lead us in our own paths to holiness in our own lives.